ULTT, let's go! To remember the ULTT, you need to be familiar with the brachial plexus. So we'll, we'll discuss ULTT 2 to 4, and the last one will be ULTT 1, because the pattern emerges when we do it that way. So in ULTT, the branches of the brachial plexus are the ones mainly being tested. So the branches, the acronym I use for them is MAMRU, M-A-M-R-U, musculocutaneous, axillary, median, radial, and ulnar. ULTT2. For ULTT2, the ones being tested are MAM, musculocutaneous, axillary, median. For ULTT3, it's R, radial. If you look at the figure, it looks a bit like R. The arm is the, the body of R and the hand is the tail. Okay, for ULTT4, it's the last one. It's U, ulnar. If you look at the hand, it looks a bit like a rotated U. Additionally, in ULTT4, we also test the nerve roots of C8 to T1. So, how do you test the C5 to C7? So, that's tested in ULTT1. ULTT1 is nerve root C5 to 7 and median nerve. So, which ULTT tests median nerve also? That's right, it's ULTT2. MAM, muscular continuous, auxiliary, and median. That's all, guys. Repeat this video to really get it. Like and subscribe. Good luck. Bye.